Hi there, I'm Trisha Pine. Rejoice in yourvoice.com, home of the complete vocal system. So who do I work with? Well, I work with professional men and women whose voice is their livelihood. They're singers, they're public speakers, they're face of their business folk who rely on their voice every day but aren't quite getting the impact, the results that they want with their voice and they know that there's got to be some solutions out there and that's where I come in. I give you tools and strategies to get the results, the impact that you want when you share your voice and your vision. So because we, singers, speakers, actors, are wind instruments, yes we are wind instruments, I want to get you thinking about your breath in a different way. I want to shift it. I want to bring more awareness. I want to go a little deeper with how you experience the source of your sound. Take a moment, close your eyes, and allow an inhale to come in. Okay, so now play with me here a little. If I was to give you, if I were to give you a box of crayons and a piece of blank paper, how would you illustrate that sensation on the paper? What color or colors would you use? Would it be dense or sparse? Is it thick or thin? Where does it go in your body? Is there a pattern to it? What happens? How would you illustrate that? Okay, so now take another breath. What is it that you are feeling? Where is it are you feeling that it's getting stuck? Does it stop in some places? Does it slow down? Does it get narrow? Does it feel like it changes shape? Does it get stuck somewhere? Be aware of that as well. Now, even if you're coming from a place of purely anatomically correct awareness of where the breath is going and you think diaphragm and da -da -da, all that, still play with this exercise, okay? Use your imagination for those of you that want to, but also you can be very accurate as well. So now I want you to do the same thing on the exhale. And I want you to draw another picture about what happens when the breath exits your body. Okay, so now the shift. I want you to be aware of what you were experiencing when you were breathing and if you were feeling like it was stuck someplace or maybe you felt like you didn't have enough, um, maybe you felt like it was, it got rigid or too narrow or thin or weak. It's in the shift that we're going to kind of break through some of those ideas. I want you to draw a picture now of what it would feel like ideally when the breath comes into your body and when it exits your body. And here's some ideas to play with. Okay, this is fun because we know that um, we've got the sound frequency and we've got the vibration of the air moving through. And really we can think about it being much bigger than the body. Okay, so fill it up the body with all the oxygen. Um, a wonderful person one time said, you know, when we take in a breath, it does oxygenate our blood, which goes through our whole body. So you could have your drawing having all that breath going all the way through your body. You could have it be like gold or shimmery or stars, or it could be in circles that's moving through just you allowing the breath to come in without any places of it getting stuck. If you feel like it gets narrow here, open it up. Allow the breath to come in and go right up, open right over your head. This is where you can play and shift some of those possibly rigid ideas around your breath. Draw a fan in your body that's, that's taking the air out. Um, some people talk about a hamster wheel that's moving to keep the breath going. There's all sorts of fun ways to play with this and I have found that no two people will have it be exactly alike. So this is your own unique experience. So will you play with me with this? Will you draw your before 
and your after. And with your after picture, why not place it where you work, where you practice and go, oh, what if I felt the breath coming deep into the belly? What if I felt it filling the entire barrel of my instrument? What if I felt it really moving beyond the larynx, beyond the tongue, beyond the jaw, over the soft palate like a waterfall? I mean, this could be such a fun exercise for you, and really it can shift how you use your wind instrument. Okay, have fun with this. Play with it. Don't take it too seriously. And then watch how it shifts, how you share your message, how you share your vision. I'm Trisha Pine, and until next week, rejoice in your voice. Bye-bye.